Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these Lumi Gurumi hearts. And um, this is an original design. And I know there's like a lot of different Rainbow Lumi Gurumi hearts as well. Some of them is flat and some of them is bigger. But I'm pretty sure this is original. So today I'll be showing you guys how to make these for Valentine's Day, which is coming up soon. So these are like... 3d so to make these hearts we'll be needing the color of your choice i'll be using fuchsia bands today and then you'll also need a c-clip to mark your rows and then you will also need a rainbow loom hook or crochet hook as well and i won't bother with using any stuffing because it's pretty small and the uh, stuffing might poke out of the holes. So let's start making it. So first of all, we're going to start with a band and then we're going to be making a magic ring with three stitches. So to make a magic ring, we're going to twist it around a hook two times. So one, two, that was two. And then we're going to grab some more bands. We're going to put a band on our hook, pull it through the loop reclaim and then pull it through like this so that's one stitch then you're going to go back through the um three the, the middle so the three loops and take another band and pull through the three loops only reclaim and then pull through the two so that's two stitches and then you take another band pull it through the loop three loops reclaim and then pull it through the two so that's three so you can count one, two, three, and then you can go ahead and put your C-clip on your hook, like that. And then after you're gonna do an increase all the way around, so you end up with six stitches. So how to do a single, how to do an increase is you take a band and pull through the stitch only, reclaim, and then pull through those two stitches. Then you go back into the same stitch, those two loops, Take another band and pull it through the stitch only. Reclaim and then pull it through those two. So that's one increase. So we need to make two more for the last two. So do it a little quicker. It's a lot of videos on how to make it if you're unsure. I have a video on my channel as well. So you can go search it up. And that's second increase and the last stitch with the C clip on the loop and three so that's how we make the first part so then you can take off your C clip and then you can go through the next stitch and just pull a band through everything on the your hook reclaim and then make a slip knot so that's one part, we're gonna have to make another one. So I'll make it with you since it's pretty fast. So magic ring and three stitches in it. I'll do a little bit faster. So that's one. And then two. And then three. Whoops. So that's three, and then you can put your C-clip up. And then once again, you do single, I mean increases all the way around. So, increase. It's kind of hard to show you where the stitches are because it's a small circle. second increase and then oops my third one alrighty so that is how you do the second one which is basically the same thing 
if you know how to do it, you could have skipped through onto this part. So now we could start connecting these two to make it into a heart. So, so after you're done making two, we're going to start connecting them together. So you can take a C-clip off and then first you go through a loop on the one that's already on your hook. So you're going to go through from the inside like this. So you're not going to just go through out like this. You're going to go through the next stitch. Normally, usually how you do a stitch, then you're going to go through the next stitch on the next one. So you're just going to go through like this. And then you can take a slip knot, pull through, reclaim like this, and just a regular single crochet. So, and then you're going to do it again, so you're going to go through a sti next stitch on the one on your right, and then you're going to go through a loop on your left as well. So you just stitch on both of these. You're going to take another band and do a regular single crochet. So pull through the two loops, reclaim, and pull through like this. So it's pretty straightforward, I hope you understood. It's a little bit confusing. So now we can put our C-clip on and we should have 12 stitches including the ones we just did. So no, not including the ones we just did, sorry. So we're going to be doing a single crochet all the way around now and instead of like normally just pulling, putting a hook through, I'm going to actually go through the inside and put my hook through it like this. So it looks a little bit better because it's going to be like a different pattern if I don't do that. So going from the inside, like this, doesn't matter if you don't do it like that, but I'm going to be doing a single crochet all the way around. So I'm going to count my stitches. So that's two, three. I'm going to go through the stitch that we just slipped knot on as well. So that's counts it's three. And then right here, skip that tiny stitch that's supposed to be a slip knot. Four. And then five. Doesn't really matter if you miss a stitch, but it's just like a little confusing. There's five. And then, let me see. Then you can go through six. And then seven. Eight. Nine. Let's see. Ten, I'm going to go through this stitch as well. I'm going to go through this stitch, that was one of the connecting in the middle. 11, oops, and, wait, whoops, I'm going to do that, I did it the wrong way. So basically it's pretty, um, it's different for everyone because uh, it it's kind of hard to like explain what each stitch is. So as long as you go through 12 stitches, in the end you have 12 stitches. It's basically fine. So there we go. After we stretch it a little bit, it'll look more like a heart, but here we go. You should have 12 stitches. As I said before, in the end, if you have 12 stitches, it's fine. So I went through the stitch in the middle as well right here when I made the connecting stitches. So yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I hope you understood. You can comment um, below if you have any questions. So that's row one, and we're going to be doing single crochet decrease next. And again, I'm still going through like from the inside like this, not from the outside. So I'm going to go through the inside. So I'm going to grab more bands. So, 
I'm going to be doing a single crochet. Oops. And then I'm going to do a decrease. So first I'm going to grab from the inside, I'm going to grab the stitch front loops like this. And then I'm going to grab the back loops. Usually we go through two. So that's how you do a decrease. But I'm just doing it like from the inside so it's a little bit more complicated. So single crochet and then decrease. And then we're gonna do another decrease, so front loop. Oops, front loop, and then back loop. Oops, can't get it through. So that's decrease and then single crochet. Decrease front loops and then back. And try and get it through. Okay, and single crochet. And then last one should be a decrease. Last stitch is the one with your C-clip. And after you've done that, you can just take your C-clip, put on your loop. So you should have um, uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches. Okay, so hope you're with me so far. So after we've done that row, which is row two, we're going to be doing a decrease now. So just same thing we did, but decrease all the way around. So I'm going to take the first loop, and then for the second, we're going to take the back loop, and then we're going to pull through. I'm going to take the front loops only, and then for the next one, just back loops. It's kind of hard to see since it's really small. And I think you will end up with four stitches in the end. If I'm right. So that's another decrease. And then I think I can do one more. Yep. Okay. So there we go. So for the last stitch, I'm just going to pull through everything. So last decrease, I'm going to pull through everything on my hook. And then I'm going to reclaim and then pull through it and make a slip knot. Okay. So I'm going to pull my C-clip out. So here we go. This is what the heart looks like. Looks a little bit wobbly and sharp on the top, but we can fix it. So how I fixed it is I pulled out I kind of squished, pushed it down, and then I pulled out the sides. Okay, that's not very good explaining, but I just pushed, like, pulled out the sides, and then pushed it down. <laughs> like, m to make the top, like, less chopper, like this. Looks better. And then the point is already pretty sharp. So I just kind of pushed it this side, pushed that side. There we go. Okay, so then you can go ahead and hide your slip knot. And we are done. I have to hide my slip knot. Okay. And we are done with the heart. Okay, so this is how you make the heart. I really hope you um, enjoyed. And if you make this, don't forget to go tag it to me on Instagram. I'd love to see creations. Any creations you make, I'd love if you tag it to me. Also, because I know that you make, like people like making my creations, so yeah. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And go follow me on Instagram, Shannon underscore Looms. 
and I'll have many tutorials and videos for you soon. Um, I have quite a lot of Squishmallows designed, and if you haven't made my last tutorial, my last creation, which is the pink yogurt drink Squishmallow, go check that out and maybe make it as well. It's Valentine's Day themed as well. So yeah, and I'll see you next time. Bye!